Yo, I always say that it's, for me, it's easy. I separate the art from the artist at all times. And one of the best R. Kelly features ever is obviously Hotel, which is on your first album. That was your first single, right? Yes, sir. Um, what was that process? Because I always heard that R. Kelly's like process as an artist was like, he was like a savant, like Rain Man type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. what was it like? Did you guys do that in studio together? Yeah. So you get that was like you were in the session with Kells as he's cutting that. What was that studio session like? Um, it was my first time meeting him, and um, I think it was my first time to Chicago too. So you guys went to Chicago. Yeah, and um, you know, Switzerland was telling me you know different stuff or how it might be. But yeah. when we went in there, I'm a super fan of R. Kelly. Me too. Like, my older brother that raised me, like, you know, we used to ride around in the hood banging that, like, banging R. Kelly songs loud. Like, I was a super fan. For sure. So to know that I'm working on my first album, finally got budgets open, and it's, like, big. Yeah. And I'm working on my first single with R. Kelly, and Swiss Beats produced it. And it's Crazy. Like, it's like, so I was excited. I was super happy. Um, I got in the studio, um, and um, even Twister came through. I remember Twister came through the studio, and um, me and Twister, like, start rapping, I think. Twister spit some bars, I spit some bars. And um, we basically, me and Swiss just was there. Swiss started explaining the record. like how, Was it Swiss's idea to do the, the, or the hotel concept, or was it R. Kelly's idea? Um... Yeah, it was Swiss idea. It was like a collaboration. It was a we 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 already had the idea that we wanted to do this hotel record when we went to go see R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. So it was already like an idea we had. We already had the beat, and we already like had the direction a little bit. But once you told R. Kelly like the idea, it's he over. just went crazy in his own direction and started yeah. singing a bunch of stuff. He went in the booth and went crazy and started doing a lot of things that we could have used for a hook. So he was, just, he was chose, just cutting melodies off the top of his head type shit? Yeah, we just chose that little piece that you know as the hotel chorus now. Mm -hmm. But he did a lot, of, a lot of different parts and a lot of different other versions of hooks. Like we did the remix too off the same session. So mm -hmm. it's just parts of the parts that I told you he did yep. that we didn't use. Just for the remix. But there's so many ladies. Like, yeah. he just went in different bags. He he creative, man. A nigga talented. I forgot to tell you, too. Before he went in the booth on the hotel beat, it was like a beat tape playing of, like, 30 beats just playing back to back. And he wouldn't say skip none of them. He wouldn't be like, I don't like them or nothing like that. It's All like Swiss soon beats. No, no, no. Or, I don't think just, they were. Or just someone else's just BC. Just to see BCD's playing. Yeah, I don't, it wasn't Swiss. I don't know who. Right. But it was just a tape playing, and every beat that come on, as soon as the beat dropped, he was singing a dope record to it. Shit sound like a smash hit. Every one. It was like, a it was like right off the top, he'll, he'll hear it while the intro on, and as soon as the beat drop, he starts singing some fire shit. Like, and he did that shit to every beat. Like, he kept doing it. So I'm like, yo, this nigga is not. Regular. He's not normal. Like, yeah, he, he different. Um, I think back to one of my favorite records that was more like an album cut. You had a record called Six Minutes that was, it was you, Wayne, and Joel's, right? Or was it, was, is that right? I wish I got a, oh, bef the, go back on the last question. Sorry. I wish I got a chance to like bust it up with him more, like really you see. Jamar what, Kelly? Yeah, what type of dude he is because we never really got a chance to. What was the video shoot like? No, it was the first time I met him. And then the second time I met him was the video shoot. Yeah. And I never got a chance to meet him after that. Y'all really didn't like bullshit or kick like like kind of he look, did it feel like he was kind of help like helping Swizz out? You know what I'm saying? Like more like that. Yeah. I mean, it was my first project. I ain't have no records out, so I really had nothing for him to really right. You know, be connected to me. It's just I was connected to something big, which was Full Surface Swiss, um, and then J Records, Clive Davis. I had a you know what I mean. Were you so, one of the first? It was like you, Alicia Keys. Who else was on on J? Wasn't Baby Mario. Bash on J Records? Mario was on J Records. Yeah, I feel like you were one of the first people. To, like I feel like it was. I feel like it was you or uh, Alicia Keys where I first saw saw J Records pop up. Yeah, I was. I was. I was one of the, you know, first. 
artists, especially rappers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you had, I feel like I was super excited because I had heard your mixtape shit. Or I heard you on some mixtapes because I used to sell mixtapes at the Swap Me. That's how I got my name when I was like 15, 16. So, like, I remember just like, there was, I think it was some Funk Flex shit you did. There was like a random Funk Flex mixtape, and he wasn't doing a lot of mixtapes, but it, but you were you had a verse on a mixtape that Flex was on or something, and I just you I, man, <laughs> I remember just hearing like two or three. Me and my best friend Rams is like, yo, this guy, man, well, that's what we just couldn't wait for that first album, man. It was crazy too. Yeah, you, I was super prepared. I was like battling in Philly for years, um, on this radio show called The Cipher. Mm. So by the time I got signed, you were ready. Already Ready, and then it took years for me to actually go from getting signed because I got signed to Rough Riders first when I was 17, and I ain't really come out with like my first project till I was 21, so it was like four years. It's almost like rap, like like boot camp, college, yeah, Yeah. and then you graduated exactly. 